Increasing your salary is one of the easiest and fastest ways to make more money. Just a single raise can increase your salary by thousands of dollars. A one-time salary increase of $5,000 properly invested can add up to over $1.3 million by the time you retire. It's time to get paid what you're worth, don't you think? It might be easier said than done, right? I mean, negotiating a salary is tough, especially for women. Studies do show that women are more likely than men to face backlash when they negotiate for higher pay. But that does not mean that you're stuck. It just means that you need to be smart and strategic with your approach. I'm Terry, a financial coach here at Dow Jane's, and today I'm sharing some time-tested negotiation tips with you. These tips are gonna help you secure your dream salary and take your career to the next level. And they're applicable whether you hold a traditional job or if you're self-employed and you're actually just looking to raise your rates. But before I spill all the secrets to getting paid what you're worth, I wanna also tell you about our free masterclass where we teach you how to build financial wellness and security through investing. A link to sign up is gonna be in the description below. to negotiate a raise. Negotiating a raise or a promotion can be crucial to advancing your career and securing the compensation that you deserve. Whether you hold a traditional job or if you're self-employed and you're looking to increase your rates, here are some key steps to help you navigate the negotiation process effectively. Number one, don't make it about you. Hopefully you have a really nice boss who cares about you and your well-being. But even if you have the greatest, kindest boss in the world, they don't give you a raise just to help you out. At the end of the day, all employers want to know two things. How will you make them look good? And number two, how will you help the company perform well? Always frame your negotiation requests in a way that shows how the company will benefit illustrate how much value you can provide to the company, and if your work will help them drive an initiative that will make $1 million for the company, then point that out. Tie your work to the company's strategic goals and show your boss how you'll make her look good. Highlight the ways that you'll make your boss's life easier by being the go-to person that they can hand everything to. And remember, your company will make much more off of your work when they pay you, so highlight the ways that your company will hit its goals. Your key phrase here is, let's find a way to arrive at a fair number that works for both of us. Number two, prepare and gather information. Start by conducting thorough research to understand industry standards, salary ranges, and the value of your skills and experience in the marketplace. Collect data on the salaries that are offered for similar positions and the responsibilities associated with the promotion that you're seeking. This information is going to empower you during the negotiation process. Most of the negotiation happens outside of the room. Call your contacts, figure out the salary that you would love to have and what you can realistically get and what you'll settle for. Don't just ask for the money. Literally, bring a strategic plan of what you want to do in the position and hand it to the hiring manager. Do you realize how few people come to a negotiation with a plan for that role? This alone could win you an additional two to $5,000. And of course, it allows you to negotiate on the value that you're going to bring to the company, not just the amount that they're going to pay you. Number three, highlight your accomplishments. Create a comprehensive list of your achievements, contributions, and value that you bring to the organization. Prepare concise examples that demonstrate your capabilities and justify your request for a raise or a promotion. Quantify your successes wherever possible, meaning put dollars to them, and then showcase your work and how it has positively impacted the company's goals, revenue, or productivity. For example, if you work in customer service and maybe you implemented processes that resulted in resolving customers' issues more quickly, resulting in a 25% increase in customer retention and repeat business. Or maybe you contributed to a special project that led to $150,000 in increased revenue. 
especially as women, we have a tendency to downplay our accomplishments. This is where you need to take pride in what you've accomplished. Help your employer understand why you're worth more. Remember, everything that you say should be backed by hard numbers. So this isn't a subjective opinion, it's a fact. Your work has helped the company succeed. Number four, build a strong case. Presenting a compelling case to your employer, focusing on the value that you've added and the potential that you possess, emphasize the skills, experience, and expertise that make you uniquely qualified for this raise or promotion. Articulate how your increased responsibilities or expanded role will benefit the organization and continue to its success. Number five, practice effective communication. Approach the negotiation with confidence and professionalism. Clearly articulate your request, making sure that you use strong and positive language. Practice your negotiation skills beforehand, anticipating any potential questions or even objections. Maintain a calm and respectful demeanor throughout the conversation. If it helps, write a script or at least an outline with everything that you want to say and rehearse it beforehand. I think it's actually fun to have a friend interact with you and have them play the boss and see how it really goes. Number six, timing is key. Choose the right moment to initiate the discussion. Request a meeting with your supervisor or manager when they are not preoccupied with pressing deadlines or other high stress situations. Additionally, consider timing your negotiations strategically, such as during performance reviews or when you have recently achieved a significant milestone or completed a successful project. Number seven, consider a win-win solution. Instead of solely focusing on your personal gain, approach the negotiation from a mindset of mutual benefit. Consider proposing ideas or solutions that can address the company's needs or challenges while also enhancing your own professional growth. This collaborative approach can demonstrate your commitment to the organization's success. Number eight, be open to alternatives. In some cases, your employer just might not be in a position to meet your requested salary or provide an immediate promotion. Stay open to alternative options that could still meet your career goals. This could include maybe some additional responsibilities, professional development opportunities or performance-based bonuses, or even a timeline for future discussions and reassessment. Number nine, practice active listening. During the negotiation, carefully listen to your employer's perspective and feedback. Seek to understand their concerns and priorities and then respond thoughtfully to any questions or objections that they've raised, providing evidence and clarifications wherever necessary. Engaging in a constructive dialogue can really help you ground and reach a mutual satisfaction agreement. Number 10, follow up and document. After the negotiation, be sure to thank your employer for hearing you out. Also, follow up in writing to summarize the key points that you discussed, any agreed upon terms and next steps. Maintain a record of the conversation for your own reference and then also to ensure clarity moving forward. And here's some final thoughts. Remember, negotiating a raise or promotion requires preparation, confidence, and effective communication. Approach the discussion with a professional demeanor and focus on the value that you bring to the organization with careful planning and a collaborative mindset. You can increase your chances of securing the salary that you want and taking that career to the next level. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We publish videos every single Monday and they help you live your most financially secure and abundant life. And if you want to learn more about building wealth, be sure to check out our free masterclass. We'll teach you our three-step million-dollar roadmap so that you can build lasting financial security. The link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.